Oh, this is better. This is it. This is the one. This is the one. That ball's got a bit of extra grip on it. I can hear my future ringing out. And this ball has got no grip on it. <laughs> oh, hell, the king. <laughs> on there, that was definitely my my daddy put <laughs> put that on there. I was born in Russia, but I really was made here in Wolverhampton. There's this connection with Wolverhampton that I have. People care about you and they want to see you succeed, and they really have a big pride in you as well. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to your coach. All right, keep going, keep training hard. All right, most important thing. I was in year four when I first came to the UK and couldn't speak a word of English. It was difficult. I felt more like I belonged. Um, I felt like I wasn't too different from everybody else. We're back at home. This is all um, because of my father, really. He knew that I was determined and I was focused and I, and I, and I had my ambitions and dad just said, look, we're gonna support that. And as a result, he, he built this gym. Uh, let me say it this way, as the color we are in Moscow, and Russia does this, sorry to say that, it, it was very, very hard for me to get a better job, to feed the family. I thank God, he must have had it really hard. And I feel like, you know, as a father, he decided to make that move, maybe because he thought, look, I don't, I don't want this for my son. Really deep down, I felt like I had like this athlete in me. So growing up playing basketball, it was something I naturally just wanted to do. You know, I got inspired at the right time. And that's where I was, you know, when I was sitting, sitting in that chair in the living room and I was telling you, yeah, I'm going to be a boxer. And I, I really didn't mean it. Like when I said it, I meant it. I felt, I felt it deep. I don't know what, I don't know what it was. It was just this just init, initial inspiration. I used to work at that McDonald's over there. 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. It was brutal but a very humbling experience. <laughs> when I see my friends, my, my old schoolmates, I remember who I really am at the, from the core, as in, like, it's deep. <laughs> I, was, I, was a, I was a teacher's pet. We, we used to, like, beg, <laughs> we used to beg teachers, <laughs> we used to beg teachers for homework. We were just, just nerds, really, weren't we? <laughs> yeah. One thing I'd say as a, as, a, as, a, as a kid growing up is, yeah, there was parts that was deprived. Yeah, that we didn't have much funding and as much funding in schools. But there was still like opportunity. He just said, "Where's he from, sir? Is he from London?" Yeah. And yeah. I went, "Oh, he's from here." Yeah. There's like gold dust around here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's he not meant to be a father figure for these kids around here. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But he's golden, golden, golden. <laughs> yeah. He needs gold. Yeah, he needs gold. <laughs> but that's he's your gold. He's your gold. Yeah, he's your gold. Yeah, great achievement. Absolutely brilliant. I could be this amazing superstar boxer, yeah? But when I look at my mates, I'm a good chat. I'm still Delicious Ori, <laughs> who just about was in learn how to speak English at seven, eight years old, who wants to make their parents happy and proud, who wants to achieve great things and wants to inspire. And this is why I will never, ever let those mates go because they're very, very special to me. Some rise, some fall, some devil runs through us all. Soon as that medal is around my neck, eight some years condensed in that split second. And I don't even know how I'm gonna feel, like, you know, emotionally, mentally, but I know it's gonna be a good feeling. <laughs> Yeah, this is where it all started. Because if you asked me when I was back then, when we were still in Russia, and I tell me that my son will soon be, or one day become world super heavyweight champion, I mean, I would say it's, it's not possible, but he just made it very quick like a rocket, just straight to the sky. <laughs> As much as it's for my family, as much as it's for Wolverhampton, it's also for Great Britain. Getting a medal at the Olympic Games is a way for me to say to the nation, literally, like thank you for everything.